Thank you again. So John was just starting to touch on the question that I had held for later, which was the situation in Bayside. And obviously I know I, I can imagine what counselor, I can't even imagine what Councillor Ray's inbox looks like knowing the emails that I've received as a district five counselor into the whole council. Um, but I'm, you know, the, the emails along with the pictures of what is happening, it, it feels like, um, it's a bastion of lawlessness that has just taken over. And uh, obviously um, we need to restore order um, in that, in, in Bayside. It is, it's just not acceptable. It's not safe from a public health standpoint on the epidemic. And it's, and it's just not acceptable uh, for the people who, who live there or for anyone um, to have to endure and be under threat really uh, from the situation. So I just wanted to uh, encourage us uh, to be in touch. Not only I'm glad we're in touch with the county, but uh, seeing the pictures we saw, some of which I, you know, I'm not sure if the governor would consider um, utilizing uh, state resources uh, to help uh, secure um, the area and to come up with a temporary situation if we don't, if we feel as though we cannot be arresting people because the jail doesn't want additional people, what are we going to do? Because we can't, I, I just want to urge that I feel really strongly, I'm sure others have thoughts on this, but we can't, we have to do something and, um, and stop what's, what's going on now because it's not going to get better. So I, I appreciate that and, and uh, would love to hear if we can uh, call in uh, the state or, or the sheriff's office to restore order. Thank you. Councilor, I could not agree with you more. And this is, uh, I know Councilor Ray uh, and I've had many conversations um, certainly over the years about the unacceptable behavior that does go on in Bayside. Um, former police chief Soschuk and I worked very closely together uh, to bring a lot more resources into, um, into Bayside via the police department. Uh, Chief Clark, um, I had requested that our federal partners get involved. Uh, and so our federal partners have been involved, particularly on the drug enforcement side. Um, and that we had, uh, can't get into the details specifically, but there has been uh, any number of effective interventions um, over the course of, uh, I'd say the last, well, last fall, where um, we certainly, um, and we're gonna continue to do that, I can assure you of that. Um, we, you are absolutely right. We have got to restore order. There is a sense of lawless, lawlessness and a sense that I can do anything I want to, any place I wanna do it. If it's your backyard, I don't really care. I can do it there. And, uh, and that's unacceptable. And we've allowed this type of behavior to go on far too long. Uh, it's been encouraged in the past. Um, and so as long as I'm in my position, you can be assured that this is a high priority for me. It's just making sure that we can, we do it fairly, we do it uh, effectively, but um, we have got to reclaim that part of Bayside, uh, mostly for those residents who are absolutely under the gun every single day. 